Do y'all remember that policy that they had out if the worker, the employee were to stop a shoplifter, they would automatically be fired? And a lot of people lost their jobs. Didn't matter how old they were, didn't matter how long they were with the company, they lost their jobs trying to do what they thought was the right thing for the company. Um, well, Lowe's has had a change of heart and they are now rehiring those employees. So it wasn't enough that people were working for not a lot of money, but giving their all to their job, some people. But those same people, kind-hearted, want to look out for the fellow man, was pushed out the door. So a 68-year-old woman has her job back after she was fired last month for attempting to stop a shoplifter at a Lowe's store in Georgia. On June 25th, three suspects loaded over $2,000 worth of merchandise into the carts and left a Lowe's store without paying. According to the July 20th Facebook post by the police department, Lowe's employee Donna Hansborough attempted to stop one of the suspects by grabbing the shopping cart and was struck in the face three times giving her a black eye. The suspects were able to get away with the $2,101 worth of merchandise. The Lowe's employee, Donna, was fired for attempting to stop the theft. This woman was brutally assaulted inside of Lowe's, received three blows to the face, a black eye, and then turn around and no longer had her job. Make it make sense, people. In a statement, Lowe's said that Donna's action grabbing the car was a violation of their policy and Donna was terminated as a result. Donna had worked for Lowe's for 13 years. This is a 68-year-old woman who still has to work because probably Social Security is not paying enough. So she's being brutalized in that aspect financially. Now she's humbled herself and she's working at her age to support herself. She decides, hey, I see something happening. I'm going to stop it. Whether you feel it's right or wrong, y'all let me know in the comments. She did. And she was assaulted. She was assaulted by Social Security. She was assaulted by the criminals. She was assaulted by Lowe's. Now they're trying to correct their wrongdoings. Lowe's said in a statement that they had hired or rehired Donna. After senior management became aware of the incident, now mind you, this is July, this happened in June, and spoke to Donna, we are reinstating her job and we are pleased that she has accepted the offer to Lowe's. I wonder if they were afraid that she was going to sue, regardless of whatever she signed coming on, doesn't mean you don't have a lawsuit. So first and foremost, there's nothing more important than the safety of our customers and associates is what they said. Products can be replaced. People cannot. That should have been common sense for the person, the manager on scene to look at that elderly woman being beaten like that and then turn around and fire her just because of a policy. They should have reached out to senior management at that point, explained the situation at that moment, not add insult to injury, no pun intended. So it says that we continue to work closely with law enforcement to investigate and prosecute those who are responsible for the theft and violent attack. But y'all attacked her. Now, it's good that they're, you know, reinstating whatever they're doing, reinstating her job um, and probably praying she didn't sit. In an update to the story, um, the police department said that one of the suspects remained at large and the other two are in custody. So it's a matter of time before they get that third one. And I hope they give them some good old time. I mean, no respect for the fact, first of all, you're stealing. No respect for an elderly woman. You did not have to do that to. 
Lastly, we are happy to announce that Lowe's has given Donna her job back. Retailers nationwide are grappling with persistent incidents of crime, petty shoplifting, and more dangerous, sometimes violent cases of organized retail theft involving groups of individuals targeting a single store to a number of stores in a single spree. And they were all just going there at the same time with their carts loaded up and go out. So... Hopefully they'll find this third person and Donna, if you, if you ever see this video, prayers to you and God bless you. Y'all take care. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love because God is love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Lights TV, Carolina Homestead. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. Stay here for